Hey, John Fink here from Doom HQ. In this tutorial, we're going to continue along with the poly objects, and I'm going to show you how to make a poly swimming door. As you can see, I've already got my two rooms and the place where the door is actually going to populate in place. So we're going to go back into grid mode and create our dummy sector to hold our door. Now remember, when you are making the door itself, it needs to be at least the same size as the space it's supposed to occupy. So in this case, it's going to be 128 by 32. And once we have that in place, we're going to hit uh, sector mode, select the inner sector, and hit delete to make the line single-sided. And now we can put in the textures for our side panels, because they will be seen when the door opens. And then we're just going to use door stop. And texture the door itself. going to use this generic door and now we're going to put in the functionality so now we're going to put in the start line on this side then we're going to make that poly object one and we're done with that and we're going to put in our, our anchor here and that's going to have an angle of one so it references the start point so it's grouped together now we're going to put in our start spot it's also going to have an angle of one and so now these two the anchor will know where it's supposed to start the door at and now we're going to put in the functionality of the door itself so select just the bottom most lined up in this and we're going to use poly door swing with the poly object of 1, movement speed of 5 is pretty good. The angle 65 will make sure it's north and south when it opens. And a delay of 50 with a repeatable action and when player presses use. Now the reason we only did this side first is because when, a pol when the poly object swing is activated, it'll always open or swing counterclockwise. So if we were to do that on this side of it, when we open, clicked open, it would still open this into the room you're in and not into the other room which we want. So to do this we're going to select it and we're going to give it a negative speed. Uh, the negative speed in this case tells the, pro or the, tells the software to open the door the other direction. So it's going to be poly object 1, the movement speed of negative 5, the, the angle will be the same and then still 50 for that repeatable action and clear for its view. Uh, so when it all comes together and you run it, it should look like this. And there you have it. Swings open. And we'll swing the other way. Now, uh, you'll notice that my door has sounds and when you created yours, it doesn't. Uh, the reason behind that is uh, the poly door swing doesn't use the stock doom door sound. You actually have to create a sound, uh, sound sequence and apply it to the door. I'll actually cover this in, a, uh, in my next tutorial and explain how to go about doing that as well as replacing sounds for pre-existing doors, for simple doors. So uh, yeah, keep uh, subscribe if you haven't. If you uh, have any questions, comments, or requests, leave them in the comments below. Or Shoot me a, a private message and I'll, I'll help you out and whatever I can or whatnot. Until um, next time.